Hi, we're going to have a look at how to extend our background, uh, how to create a nice, smooth, almost infinite kind of background from our dance images. This is something I did for my fellowship panel. Um, this is something I, I like to do in my dance shoots. I think adding the composition is really nice. Now, I could shoot the composition in camera, absolutely. However, considering what I'm adding is negative space, this makes much more sense for me to shoot it uh, tight, actually in camera to get the best quality out of my model that I can. And then I can add the negative space on later, meaning my image is the best quality it can possibly be. So the first step, first thing we're going to do, we're going to have a look through and we're going to clean up the floor. We're going to clean up the walls. We're just going to clean up this whole set because what we don't want to do is be extending and having more of these sort of errors and things coming in here. So using my patch tool, I'm going to select these areas and just simply drag uh, to get rid. I can actually use my content aware, which is hit delete. Content aware will come up and hit enter and it will do a very good guesstimate job itself. And then what we're gonna do is come around on the floor, have a look through in here and get rid of any of these uh, little blotches. Now, my uh, poor old paper background I've got it brand new for this shoe, and by the end of the day, after having lots of dancers jumping around the place, um, I it was mullered. So it's got quite a few marks on it. I didn't have uh, the ability to pull it out even further at that time. So this is what we're dealing with. But I am only going to basically clean it up for now, um, because we're going to come back and create a better sort of flooring and a better texture. I just don't want any big blobs are going to be replicated. So I've had a basic go round with the patch tool. I'm now going to duplicate my layer and start softening it. Now I've duplicated my layer. I want to change the opacity to 50%. Now I can come over here and change it, but you can also just shortcut, hit, uh, hit five on the keyboard. And now what that's going to do is it means half is going to be whatever I drag it onto. So if I drag it over here, Ooh, let me click the right one. If I drag it over here, it's going to soften because it's now got half of this bit of floor, half of that bit of floor. It's going to create a slightly softer technique. Now, remember, if you do it here, you're going to also elongate a shadow. We're not looking at doing that. We're just looking at softening these patterns just here. The main thing you want to watch for is you're not doing this and dragging down there. You will end up with lines across your image, and that's not good for anyone. It's not useful. So I'm going to soften this shadow a little bit at the back, coming from here. And then when I'm on the shadow area here, I'm going to be traveling across a tiny bit. And I'm going to flatten that layer. I'm quite happy with that. I think that works for now. It's looking quite good. Now, next is we're going to do our composition. So first thing I do, I zoom out just so I can see a little bit more of where I might want us to be. I'm then going to hit C for crop. And I'm going to change my ratio to a one by one square. I do not want to be putting in resolution, width and height because I'm not sizing this image. All I'm doing is changing the ratio. The file size will stay exactly the same, but it will grow with anything that I extend it on. So what we're gonna do, we're going to re-choose our composition. So I'm gonna bring my square right out here. I'm gonna have her sat just below the bottom third. I'm gonna tilt it this way so that she's level uh, and maybe coming in just about here. So she's on this third coming in here everything's gonna sit nice. Now, the main thing that I need to do here, the most important thing, I need to tick the content aware box. So we're gonna tick that, and what it's gonna do, it means it's gonna fill in all those edges for us, or at least it's gonna have a good go. It's going to, it's going to attempt it for us. Um, content aware is a robot. You do have to remember it's not always perfect. Uh, and the better that you do that background texture at the beginning, the smoother it's going to be when it when it transitions. I was like, this bit a bit of a mystery. Let's see if it's going to come out for us, how it's going to work. <laughs> come on, you can do it. It's having a moment. So I uh, I use this for a lot of mine, and because I shoot on a medium format Pentax, my files are quite big, and occasionally it can take a second, uh, especially when I'm adding quite a lot of space. But here we go. You know what? I'm happy with that. That actually looks quite good. I think we've got a slight patchiness down the bottom here, but apart from that, that's actually done a really good job. 
So all I'm going to go in and do now is have a look round and see how well it did. You'd be amazed how sometimes it duplicates a foot in a corner. Uh, I'm going to also duplicate my layer, do a 50% layer again, and just soften that in to blend any lines, anything I need to blend right in to there too. Um, I can also decide that I want to soften this whole shadow at this point if I want to. You've just got to watch where, where the lines sort of end because you will get slight smudges like that if you go on the areas that are too dark. And so we're just coming around the edges and softening these bits. Uh, and I'm going to soften up the edge a tiny bit as well. But mostly, I think that did a good job. I'm quite happy with that. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add uh, a little bit more of a vignette. We've got a dark area, a dark corner up here. But I think we can do better than that. So using my burn tool, mid-tone is 20%. I'm going to make a nice big brush. And I'm going to just draw down and let it fill in ever so slightly here. Because I want it to just even out. I want a nice circle around her. And we can do the same with our floor if we want to. <clears throat> And we can darken that floor in and just create that little bit of shape. Now, I didn't actually mind it being bright, to be honest. I think that was quite okay. But uh, I think it's just going to add a little bit of depth, especially creating that infinity kind of look. Now, the reason I do it like this and I don't do um, vignette or don't add a texture is because I personally love to draw and add the textures in myself exactly where I think. Just because both the bottom looks like the same colour doesn't mean it is. So I would much rather be in control and I can choose and I'm going to do three brush strokes over here, but only two over here. Um, but you can use whatever technique you want to use. It's just because I'm a massive control freak. Um, and I like to do it all manually. But there we go. I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I think that looks nice. So let's have a look at our before and after. Uh, so before, uh, we can see our image. We had not as much space. Now that sits really nicely. It's got a much more sort of ethereal feel to it. It feels more fine arty. And we just need to do our edit on her. Brilliant. 